Welcome back everybody to another video. This is Mike from Square One Farms and today we're going to do a little something different. Right now I'm in my shop and I apologize for the audio and the lighting. I've got some funky things going on with it. I'm going to show you my shop and that why I've been in my shop for the last week or so not videoing, not doing anything with the camera until now. Now over the last week or so we have been doing some things. And we picked up the camera a few times and we'll go over that. Uh, but for right now, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you a small mini shop tour, uh, show you where I've been and what I've been doing. Anyway, stick around because we're about to do this thing. September's ago, September of 2017, I started building this shop. I built this shop 100% by myself. I didn't have somebody to even hold a tape measure or, or help me pick up a board. So this shop is built 100% by myself. And uh, because we are on a farm, it took me a very long time. It took me right at a year to almost get it in the condition that you see it now, as far as the structure goes. Um, it's been a work in progress ever since. And then for the last year, I've just been, I, I took all of my tools and everything out of storage, shoved it in here, and just been making do for about the last year until this week. And this week I have decided things are calming down, we, we stopped growing as many animals, the demand for uh, the garden and everything is going way down. And we're about to amp things back up and get out into the woods and start clearing some land this, this winter. Um, so this is almost my downtime. And with my downtime, I wanted to take it to work on this shop. So two things you need to know about me. One is I am an avid hobbyist woodworker, woodworker hobbyist. I don't know. I love woodworking. I love, I love the new tools and I especially love the hand tools. I'm terrible at hand tools. But it's just it's just one of those things that I love anyway so the intent with this shop in the beginning was uh, to make this a woodworking shop now over the course of time I have realized that that is probably not a very practical solution living on a farm I can't just make it a woodworking shop because first of all I can't make any money woodworking you just you don't make money as a woodworker uh, and more importantly is we live on a farm and I have to be able to pull in my tractor or I have to change the oil or I have to fix a flat or I have to weld something or blah 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 okay so there's all these things that go into being on a farm and having a shop and uh, so what I have done though is I've dedicated one side of my shop to woodworking and the other side to miscellaneous mechanic welding type things the other thing you need to know about me is I'm a musician. Uh, very few know that. I don't mention it. I've mentioned it one time in my videos. Um, and we were in a band and we put out an album that is still available on, on Amazon and iTunes and etc. But through the course of that, uh, another thing that I've had to drop is music. Now with that, I have a lot of the sound equipment and everything from the band and yeah I could sell it but man I've got an insanely awesome sound system in the shop so anyway musician and woodworker as we go through this so just remember that and we live on a farm so trying to incorporate all of that so I've had to drop the woodworking yet I still build things with wood and I have had to drop the music as far as making music but man I can listen to some music I even have my guitar out here. Uh, I don't even know if you can see that in the camera, but uh, just in case I want to pick it up. Anyway, let's, man, blah, blah, blah. Let's go over the shop tour. All right, so that is the front of the shop. As I said, I have been building it, and uh, I, I, I honestly don't know if I have enough metal to uh, finish this off and the trim work and all that, and it's just kind of been there. 
Uh, but you can see I've got my grill there. But uh, this was my favorite part. I wanted this gold to go in with the, that cypress and cedar up here. Sorry about the sun. Uh, but that was a great front. I added this two, two foot overhang uh, with the cedar underneath and it turned out fantastic. What would be even better is if I would just finish it. All right, let's go through the front door. All right, front door. As you can see, we, we walk directly into the woodworking area. Um, so right here I have a fridge full of drinks and blah blah blah. Our incubator, our incubator and hatcher, we've got a deep freeze with junk piled on top of it. Uh, once again, I'm not going to go all in on this, on this uh, shop tour. There's more sound system, that's sound system stuff. Um, <laughs> fantastic sound system, look. But, <laughs> we'll get we'll get there, but anyway uh, So there you have it. There is is where we're at and this is what I've been doing I have spent the last week Organizing and trying to make this a functional shop now once again. I have a lot of work left to do I have stuff to put on the walls and hang stuff and uh, Big project a shop is never done all of this is a bunch of exotic woods and I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of hardwood cutoffs uh, more tools. This is a uh, this is a mantle. A guy wants me to um, build. That's his old mantle. And Marcus, if you're watching this, uh, my shop is now functional. I may be able to get around to building your mantle for you. Anyway, uh, speakers. <laughs> those are double 15s with horn, single 15 with horn, and then those are monitors. Uh, those are not hooked up more tools insulation that fell from up here. This shop is insanely insulated uh, Dale Earnhardt senior <laughs> uh, Windows golly look at all these vinyl windows now. They don't have frames, so I'll have to get pretty creative with them uh, but That's definitely something that I want I just do not have a place for them and they are taking up a huge amount of wall and floor space and it's really irritating but it is what it is uh, before we leave this section there's a rubo style workbench that I built uh, my table saw so that is pretty much the woodworking side I've got a saw over here that I just got I don't know where to put it yet and it's clean enough oh this obviously is a project this is a new quail cage that I'm working on uh, I was working on that yesterday and sweat things up just enough to uh, make a video but anyway that is the woodworking portion of the shop I <laughs> had I even have after the band I, I became a DJ uh, for a while took all this equipment and was a DJ mobile DJ anyway so remember those uh, those tables Jesse got for her Outdoor kitchen. Well, we don't have the outdoor kitchen built yet, but what we do have is some fantastic processing area. Let me move this chair. Uh, I just like sitting in here and looking out the garage door, and being happy. Uh, so yeah, this is a fantastic processing area we have uh, we have here, and I'll go through that here in just a minute. I just made a I made a cutting board this week too for our processing area. Uh, and as we continue on with the shop, the exact way that I showed you the shop is how I started organizing and as it goes along it gets a little crappier and crappier and crappier and that's because that's how I've worked around here. And now we're getting into the junk uh, that I still have to find a place for. I have a ton of hardware cloth and blah blah blah. My workbench thing is a complete nightmare. and. Then all this stuff that I don't know what to do with. Ultimately, this there is a wood burning stove in there. That's where the wood burning stove will be, and we are back around here. Uh, wood burning stove will be in there. And real quick, check this out. My mom made this for Jesse. Sorry for all the junk in the background. Can you even see that? It says Square One Farms. Uh, super cool apron thing. So big shout out to Mama Square. 
<laughs> I just made that up. Hope she approves of that. I don't know. That's maybe weird. All right, so the cool thing about this is this going to be, get out of the way. Is this going to be the ultimate home setting shop? Well, I say that because I can do everything here. I've got a welder and, and there's not much home setting I can't do. Well, the really cool thing about this is I can bring a deer in and hang it from this winch or a pig or whatever, take a leg off, throw it on the table, process it. There's our grinder and food saver. Grind it, package it, done. So, so yeah, I've got these 18-inch uh, subs, man. Isn't that crazy? They're not hooked up. Uh, and there's there's more amps in there, guitar, guitar amp, uh, etc. But uh, what's funny is I have a lot of extra like CDs, our old CDs, and Huggies and and stuff like that. And it's funny, it's it's kind of looking like uh, our YouTube career is going to echo my music career. <laughs> <laughs> so another big thing that we did uh, and didn't video it I, I've got a little bit of you can look at this time-lapse of, of us doing uh, doing our thing but we process right at a hundred coil um, you know remember the big PVC tractor I was really excited to get them processed and out of there because I've got to do some work on that tractor I'm gonna cut it in half it's just too big uh, lesson learned moving on now I've got the shop available to bring that big old monster in here and really take it apart and and make this thing happen uh, speaking of which I did just use screws to attach everything because I had a feeling that I was going to take it apart and modify it and all that there were there was no glue involved so that should be pretty simple to take apart uh, so yeah we processed a hundred quail they're all in the freezer now fantastic um and so that should last us until spring when we we start doing that again so now we've got um a freezer full of chicken and quail but just within the last month of processing around here and speaking of which next week yes next weekend uh we are processing almost 30 more chickens so yeah yeah a lot of death on the homestead it's just that time of year y'all and i know uh, it seems like a lot of people have kind of shied away from us because we are showing that side of it. Um, it's one of the reasons. Uh, and look, that's just that's just life on the homestead. Okay, uh, it's we eat meat and we prefer to to raise our own meat. So that's just part of it. Uh, I'm not going to continue showing processing chickens every time we do it and all that. I wanted to get that out of the way. That is our lifestyle. That is what we do. Um, but going back. We did process a hundred of those. I uh, had, had my buddy Jesse Downs come over. Uh, he wanted to learn that process, uh, got him involved, and there you have it. Uh, one other thing that we did, is that it? Oh yeah, one other thing. I knew I was forgetting something. This is uh, fair season. Uh, so we have spent a lot of time, not me so much, but the girls, uh, Keelan and, and Tegan, they've spent a lot of time up at the fair showing their animals and. and hauling animals and, and taking them to and from the fair. Uh, they did a great job, y'all. Uh, they, they both won uh, belt buckles for uh, showmanship. So out of the entire county, they were first and second place in showmanship. Pretty cool. So last weekend, we went to uh, the Arkansas Home Setting Conference. We were invited to speak uh, at that. Man, that was pretty cool. Uh, I think that uh, it was rescheduled. If y'all remember, we were going to do that back in March, April, can't remember, uh, for the in the springtime. We were going to do that and it got canceled, so they rescheduled it. Um, anyway, that was, that was pretty cool, you know. Uh, very honored to be invited to that to speak um, and we had, we had a good time. Uh, it was our first real speaking event. Um, and I hope that it went okay. I hope it went okay enough. Maybe they'll invite us back for that or another topic that we cover here on our channel or, or elsewhere. Anyway, uh, that was pretty cool. And then after we spoke about raising quail, that's, that was our topic, raising quail uh, for the homestead. 
Uh, then we, we sat in on a homesteading panel um, where me and Jesse, along with VW Farm, Ben and Andrea, and uh, Gary McWilliams, which is Paul Mack from the Farm Hands, Hands Companion. Uh, I'll leave a link down below for their channels. Anyway, we sat up there and uh, we were questioned by the moderator, uh, Mr. Talent, Britt Talent. Uh, he, he questioned us, you know, about homesteading and starting a homestead and, and we gave uh, our, our story in front of you know a group of people and that was cool too I thought that was uh, that was relaxing it wasn't near as um, you know nerve-wracking as just being the only one standing in front of a group of people talking uh, at least we were we were sharing a stage together so that was cool uh, anyway had a good time and uh, that was last weekend so here we are now we are I'm caught up and hopefully you kind of see what we've been, we've been doing uh, around here I've spent so much time in the shop I can't even explain how much I've spent yes I spent a lot of time cleaning and I'm still cleaning and getting things organized but I've, I've got that quail cage that I'm working on yes I'm looking at it it's right here uh, got the quail cage I'm working on I made a little butcher block I've made this is and that's so I've got this new saw that I've completely taken apart and restored uh, I'm really getting back into the woodworking spirit you will probably in the future start seeing more shop projects now. Now that I actually have a spot to do things, um, there will probably be more build series and um, just things that I do here on the homestead, taking things apart and fixing them, restoring things, building things, old things, new things, the whole nine yards. So uh, start looking for that to start coming to the channel. Uh, there's a few other ch changes coming to the channel. We are at one year now. One year we've been on YouTube um, and I'm thinking about doing a video on what we've learned about being on YouTube for the last year. Uh, we've learned a lot. Um, don't know if that's something y'all want to hear or not though. If it is, let me know down in the comments that that's something you're interested in and, and you kind of want to know our process and what we've learned and what we've experienced. Um, the good, the bad, uh, all that. Let us know down there. And that's it. That's it. I think I'm going to wrap this up. Kind of a weird little vlog, but, uh, you know, just wanted to bring you all up to speed on what it is that we've been doing. Anyway, y'all, this is Mike from Square One Farms, and until the next video, we'll see you.